So if you were to read out a string of a few numbers or letters, and I can remember all of those a few moments later, perhaps my baseline dopamine levels are in the in the normal range. Whereas if I couldn't keep that online, that might be re- might be reflective of lower baseline dopamine levels. Is that right? Yeah, it's a, it's a very strong proxy for dopamine. So if your working memory capacity is seven letters when I, or numbers, when I say four, three, seven, one, five, zero, six, if you get them, four, three, seven, five, seven, <laughs> get six, them all right? back yeah. pretty quickly, you probably have more baseline dopamine than, than someone who has five. And that's actually how we did it in our original studies. We group individuals based on whether their capacity based on this behavioral measure was high or low. And like you said, those that could only hold five or six letters, if we gave them bromocryptine, which was the dopaminergic agonist, we improved their working memory. We got them into sort of an optimal level. But those who were already high, we got them worse. And the moral of that story was that more is just not better. We're trying to get people optimal.